So let's have a look now here at the equine hindquarter. We already have some of these muscles transected. So here we have the middle gluteal muscle with the superficial gluteal and its two portions overlying it. Okay. If we are to reflect that superficial gluteal and then we transect the middle gluteal, we can see that the middle gluteal is going to have a accessory head, which isn't separated out real well in this specimen, but we know the accessory head because its tendon is going over the greater trochanter here, and we find the trochanteric bursa. Okay, so this is the deep gluteal here. Now, once again, all the gluteal muscles are going to act in abduction of the hip, but the superficial gluteal because of its course down to the third trochanter, it's going to be a flexor of the hip because its, its pull is going to be caudal to the point of rotation of the hip. Okay. So here then we have the biceps femoris muscle, which has three portions. And then we have the semitendinosus muscle. Notice both the biceps femoris and the semitendinosus come all the way up to the sacrosciatic ligament. So it has not been cleared away from that as of yet. Now, with these more proximal portions, remember that the more distal portion of the biceps femoris, the semitendinosus, and the semimembranosus are innervated by the sciatic nerve. But these more proximal portions are going to be picked up by the caudal gluteal nerve. Okay, so in the horse, we're going to find that the cranial gluteal nerve is going to get the deep gluteal, much of the middle gluteal, and the tensor fascia lata, which is this muscle here. Okay, that'll be cranial gluteal, the some of the middle gluteal, the superficial gluteal and then these proximal portions of both the biceps femoris and the semitendinosus are going to be innervated by the caudal gluteal nerve. Okay. So as we just saw, this is the tensor fascia lata, it's triangular muscle. And beneath that we can see the quadriceps femoris. And just as before, on the distal end of that biceps femoris, we can see coming out from under it the common peroneal nerve. It's going to have a superficial branch here and a deep branch. Okay, that deep branch is going to once again do these more cranial lateral muscles of the crus. Superficial branch may get the lateral digital extensor but it's going to be mostly cutaneous.